hey fellas, we work really hard for you. Uh, we fished, <laughs> I think 10 hours. Got two little fish. Well, I did have two striper takedowns. I missed both of them. It's kind of hilarious, watch the clips. I ran into my brother TC from Connected Fishing. Follow him around. I think it was a rough day for everybody today. So instead, I'm gonna do a catch and cook show. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna change my title now to the John Can't Cook Show. If I can't cook, there's no excuses for you guys in the kitchen, all right? Help your ladies out, help your wives out. All right, guys, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Peace out. I just got a bite. I got a bite, guys. I got a bite. Woo! Oh, man. What? I got a bite in my striper rig. Yeah. <laughs> I bought it. I bought with me an ugly stick striper rod. Never caught a fish before. But I feel the bite. I feel it. Oh, shoot. I didn't set the drag. Doggone it. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> Something going down here. I got a bite. I got a bite. Yep. I missed it. Oh, you got a bite too. You got a bite on your side. Left, left rod. Left rod. <laughs> Super windy today, fellas. And look at that. Nobody fishing over there at my favorite spot. Here, guys, here's a simple way of cleaning scales off of the shad. You connect this hose together. So hopefully you got one of this gripper like this to hold the fish together. So fellas, what you want to do is first clip the little tail of the fish like that. So what you do is you turn on the water and you let this pressure out really hard like this. And all you gotta do is just spray really hard and the scale will come right out. Nice and clean it is, fellas. And then now you turn, you flip to the other side. Clip it down like that. Do the same thing. Hey. 
welcome back guys I just showed you guys how to clean the shed and I'm not gonna go into the gory detail of how I remove the head the tails and the guts but you end up with two pieces of beautiful shed looking shed like this all right and here's the other shed right here two beautiful pieces of shed okay we all know that a shad, shad is very bony in the belly, as you can see here. They got a lot of bones in the belly, a lot of bones in the belly. So we don't want that part. What, we, what we're going to do is just cut them out. We don't need that, so I got a little nice scissor here. I'm just going to cut this little bony part out. Matter of fact, I'm going to start from right here. See those these bones right here? I don't want that. I just want the main meat, meaty part. Okay, right here, cut this baby out. All right, throw that away. These are nothing but bones, you don't, you don't want that. Same thing with this baby right here. Cut the bone part out. Here, you can see it. Cut this bony part out here. Cut this bony part out here. Throw these guys away guys now the next phase is you flip this upside down like this and you want to cut as thin as you possibly can like a potato chip all right just cut them straight down watch as thin as you can This is a really easy, simple recipe to do, guys. Now, if a guy like me, who can't cook, doing it to help out my wife, you ain't got no excuse either. So help around if you can, okay? Real simple, guys. Just cut it out as thin as you can. You don't have to be pretty. This is a manly man show. So you don't have to be very pretty. Just chop them down like this. size of a little potato chip it helps you if, uh, it will help if you have a nice sharper knife but you just want a nice potato chip size keep on doing it for the whole fish Next piece, same thing, brothers. Pop it down, cut them to a little potato chip size. I don't know, you could probably throw these guys away. You need to eat that guy. You got a lot of meat right here. This is all you need right here. So, after this right here, after this right here, brothers, what you want to do is start to marinate it or put some salt and pepper on it any way you like it. And then you just deep fry it. So let's do that now. So, fellas, now that we chopped them into little pieces, potato chip size, going to put them in this basin here. this I'll be right back so for this part right here you can customize it to any way you like I'm gonna go ahead and put some pepper on mine then I'm gonna go put some roasted garlic and herbs one of my favorite seasoned salt Like I said, once again, you customize it 
to any way you want. Oh, that's the way I'm gonna do it. After all, this is a John Can't Cook show. <laughs> You're taking a risk, brother. So I'm gonna put some pepper in here. Let's see, roasted garlic. I'm gonna put a lot of these in here because it's got no salt in it. So it'll make it smell really good. This is one of my favorite, guys. No salt, nice and healthy. Put a lot of this baby on there, okay? And then go easy with the salt. This is seasoned salt right here. Let's make it tasty. If you don't got no salt problem, slap on it. But if you do, go light, light on it. I love seasoned salt. Put a little bit on it. So now you're gonna get this. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm wearing gloves. All right. Put some more garlic herbs in there. I love all garlic herbs. Roasted garlic herbs. Love it. Slap some more of that baby on there. Mix it up. Yeah, I think we're good now. Uh, then the next step is we're going to put all of this stuff in a one gallon bag and we're going to put one cup of flour, shake it up, and then deep fry it. I'll be right back. So what you want to do is get one cup of flour, all-purpose flour, one gallon bag, and all the fish that we just seasoned, I'm going to just dump them in there. Two little guys that we can spent 10 hours to catch today, guys. So you figure that out, 10 hours, if each one of us make 15 bucks an hour, there's three of us, this is $450 worth of fish. <laughs> All right, shake it up. You're eating a very expensive fish right here, brothers. 450 bucks worth of fish. And that's not counting the gas for the boat and the truck. <laughs> and the parking fees. And the launching fees. All right, now all we have to do is either deep fry it or pan fry it. Your preference. I'm gonna pan fry it today. All right, what's up, brothers and sisters? The reason why I'm changing my show of the John Can Cook Show into the John Can Cook Show, here's the main reason right here. My lovely wife, Mrs. Miracle, Eminem. Hey, everyone. Is actually the star of the show when I do my John Can Cook Show. She is the one actually behind the scene doing all the cooking. So now I'm known as the John Kent Cook Show. <laughs> okay, here you go. Uh, so what we're gonna do is heat up the oil at high heat. Right, honey? Yeah, it's at high right now, but then we're gonna lower it once it gets hot. So once it gets super hot, we're gonna lower it to medium. Medium, and then I'm gonna test it out with a little piece here. Okay, now my lovely wife is gonna test it out with one little piece. Obviously, it's not hot enough there. No, not quite. So we're gonna Almost let it go there. hotter than that. What oil is it that we're using here, darling? Oh, just vegetable oil. We're using vegetable oil, okay? Vegetable oil. I think if you use olive oil, it overheats. Yeah. So if you do use olive oil, you're probably gonna have to do it really short. Cutting it pretty thin so that they look like chip size. It's pretty good. Pretty good, honey. The thinner you can go, the better. Because, yeah. you know, once you do it this way, you can eat to the entire bone if you want to, mm -hmm. including the middle bone. Now, of course, if you have little children, they might not want to eat the middle bone. But uh, for adults, you definitely can go right to the middle bone. And I'll show you that once we're done, okay? Fish 
They're so cute. Now, do we fry this with uh, without a cover, honey? Without a cover. So we're gonna just pan fry this baby without a cover. We'll be right back. Okay, fellas, what you wanna do now is pan fry this baby for three minutes on the one side and then flip it over. The goal here is that we want it to be crispy. That way the bones are cooked all the way through and be easier to eat because all how shad is very bony so hopefully it's gonna work out all right fellas three minutes is up so now mrs miracle is gonna flip this baby over eminem is gonna flip this over right now flipping the over. goal is uh, just to keep it so that it's golden brown fellas and crispy okay fellas because i cut these pretty thin so we want to flip it over and do another three minutes but kind of check it make sure that's nice and golden brown to your to your liking and you're ready to go you're ready to rock and roll so you can just move it around and look at it check it make sure it's nice and golden brown before you take them out Okay, fellas, three minutes is up. We're gonna check it. It looks really nice and cooked, going brown, and we'll start to remove it from the pan. That looks really good. So some may be a little bit more crisp because they were the first ones to go into the pan. So I'm just kind of checking. Is it kind of like it crispier? I think these are all ready to come out, so I, I've tested them. They're, they look really crispy. They look really golden brown, and just they, they just have this great crisp uh, texture. So I'm really excited to try it. Of course, we want to wait till it cools down. And we'll burn our t our tongue. fellas now that it's cooked and I let it cool down maybe about five minutes or so and I'm gonna try it out all right so here goes nothing so here's the first piece notice there's a little bone right there in the middle a piece of bone in the middle now if you're an adult like me you can eat the whole thing little kid might be a little picky and eat around it and throw the bones away I'll show you both ways First, I'm going to show you how to eat through the whole entire bowl. Watch this. Delicious. Hmm. Here's a little bit bigger piece. So, if you have children at home, they might not want to eat that middle bone. I'll show you. You can eat around it, or you can break it apart like this. See? Pick out a bone in the middle. Get rid of it and eat the rest. Hmm. It's the only part that you get rid of. So I hope you guys enjoy this catch, clean, and cook show. Hopefully, you notice that it's really, really simple and easy way of cooking and eating shad. There are many other ways to cook it. It's more complicated. Maybe I might do one in the future. But as for now, it's as easy as you can get, brothers. Nice and easily done. Maybe about five, ten minutes and you're done. Ready to eat it. Until the next time, brothers, I know that there are lots of great fishing videos out there. Once again, I do appreciate you guys coming and check out my channel. Peace out.